Hello and welcome to Art Attack. This is my desk and on it are the things you can use to make your own pictures and cartoons. Indeed. Hello everybody, welcome to this special one-off video where I'm taking a look at Art Attack. A weird old CD-ROM from my childhood that I used to play all the time. You know, way back, probably talking early 2000s, so over 15 years ago. And um, it's actually something that I've wanted to do on this channel for a long old time. For years and years I've wanted to go back and relive some some childhood memories and nostalgia of uh, making art on this game. And um, I guess I should give it a little bit of an introduction if you're not sure as to what Art Attack is. But um, Art Attack is, I think it's still going, but it used to be when I watched it, uh, a, a British kids TV show all about drawing and painting and sculpting and, you know, arts and crafts, all that sort of stuff. This is an art attack. This is an art attack. This is Art Attack! <laughs> And I loved it. This was probably one of my most favourite TV shows when I was younger. In fact, if I'm being really honest, this is probably the show that really kind of helped get me into drawing and painting and wanting to do that sort of stuff. And I mean, to be fair, it's probably <laughs> probably affected my life in a really massive way, if you think about it like that. Um, but yeah, I used to remember coming back from school and religiously watching this show. I think it was on every Wednesday. Uh, you know, whatever. But um yeah, I used to love it, and eventually they came out with this very odd CD-ROM in the late 90s, um, <laughs> which which I think came with a serial. You know when you used to get CDs and, and books and games and toys and stuff inside bo boxes of cereal? Don't do that anymore, really, but um, I think this was one of them. And uh, yeah, I, I remember playing it, God, and I thought it'd just make for a fun video to, to look back on, so... I'll get a little bit more into Art Attack as we go on, but let's just get this intro screen out of the way. So uh, this is his desk where you can make your own pictures and cartoons. To get to any of these areas, simply move around the desktop using the mouse to find them. When you find the editor you want, click on its padlock to lock the screen to the area. Okie dokie, so that uh, that man talking, this little guy here, is uh, Neil Buchanan. Neil Buchanan is the, or was the presenter of Art Attack. And I actually wrote down, this show went on for absolutely ages. It ran from 1990 to 2007. Oh my god, 17 years for a kids TV show to run. Ho always hosted by this guy, Neil Buchanan. He's a legend. I'd love to meet him one day. Uh, I think he's now in like a rock band or something. A very, <laughs> very odd career move. But um, yeah, I've got my cup of tea ready. Let's get into this. See this paint tube here? Well, this is what we call the Art Attack Control Splat. Click on it and it will splat onto your screen. Hey, whoa, 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 I don't want any splatting on my, my screen, thank you very much, Neil. Uh, what do we need to do? This is the Control Splat. Click on it to open it up. It's used for loading and saving your creations, printing, gaining help, accessing fonts and exiting the programme. Okay, okay, I remember this now. It's coming back to me. So I haven't touched... This oh. is the control Stop. splat. Stop, Neil. Oh, I just I just killed him. <laughs> it's coming back to me. Um, I haven't actually touched this game, like I said, for well over 15 years. Uh, I did quickly load it up to just, you know, test that it actually worked on the system. Quite surprisingly, it does. It just works on Windows 10 using a uh, an ISO of the, the CD-ROM. I thought it would have to have some sort of virtual kind of Windows 98 or something to make it run, but um, no, we're good. Hopefully, touch wood, I haven't tested all of it, but none of it crashes or breaks or glitches out. Um, <laughs> we'll see how that goes. I just I basically made sure it booted up, so... Um, how do I get Neil back? Neil? Where are you? Come back to me. Hello! Oh, God! And welcome to Art <laughs> Attack. This is my ah. desk. And to get to any... See this paint tube here? 
If you need more help when you are there, click on the help button. I'll then appear and explain to you what all the tools do. OK, thank you, Neil. If you want to go to another area, simply click on the padlock to unlock it again. See you later. Oh, all right then. Bye. All right, I guess we're on our own then. And, um, yeah, this is coming back to me now. This is It's got a really weird kind of menu, if you could describe this as a menu. So you actually move. You'd think you have to click there to go to these sections, but you actually have to move on his desk literally across the screen to go to him. Isn't that weird? So yeah, there's three different things, three different sort of paint editors, and it is pretty much like um, Microsoft Paint, but fancier versions. So we'll just do a little bit of drawing and painting. How does that sound? We'll go, we'll go a little bit Bob Ross, shall we, and, and do some nice happy little trees and things. Um, that's why I got my tea. This might be a bit of a longer video as we explore what this old disc has to offer. And this one actually isn't drawing and painting in the middle. This looks a little bit more like um, the Simpsons Cartoon Studio, which I'll get onto later. But I guess let's work from left to right. This is the first one. Uh, let's lock in and have a little play around. Lock. How dramatic that... Oh no! Oh no! George Everett failed. GDDO generic. There is an undefined error to continue. Um... Hi, oh, and God. welcome to the Art Attack Paint Package. You have lots of tools here to help you make some lovely pictures or animations. Just load from our five themes or click New to make up your own. Oh, God, I thought that would have crashed it. But I guess not. I guess we're still running. This is a tough old game. All right. If you want any extra help on any of the tools here, click on the first aid button in the control splat and I'll come back to help you. I might need you later, Neil, if I get more crashes, all right? <laughs> Don't leave me. Right, what did he say? I've already forgot. Are we... Yeah, all right, we're painting. Yeah, this is just like paint. Oh, the mouse is a little bit weirdly sensitive. This is going to be... This is going to be interesting. Let's, um... Let's start new. Okay, we can have a different colour background. Very nice, very nice. Oh, God. Oh, that noise. Ah! That is maybe it's just really loud in my in my ears. Like I've got it set too high, but that really gets into your ears. That noise, it actually sort of makes me wince a bit. Oh no, stop! Just go back to oh white. There you go. Um, so let's have a little play around then. So what have we got? Some of these things I think it's going to be quite self-explanatory. Like ruler, <laughs> great sound effect. That's just going to be yeah, straight lines. Okay, undo. Good, there is none. Oh, there's only one undo. Ooh, okay. Let's use... That's brush. Eyedropper tool. Ooh, a razor. I like that noise. Go back to that one. It's like a wobble board. Let's get rid of this. Oh. Wait, is this the size down here? Mm-hmm. Make it bigger. There we go. So this isn't that interesting. I do remember it had some com some cool little features though. So I think we'll get into cooler stuff eventually. Spray can. Oh yeah, that's some nice spraying. Okay, undo that. And is that smudge? Oh, that noise is not great. Let's just uh, get a little bit of that and see if we could smudge it. Oh, look at that. That's quite impressive actually for a, you know, Photoshop wannabe. It looks pretty decent. Kind of gives it some motion blur almost. Okay, undo. Oh, right, yeah, only, we've only got one undo. Alright, um, get rid of this. And I guess at the end there's just some shapes, some squares and circles. Oh, this is actually really annoying to undo, uh, to get rid of everything. Okay. Colour? I guess that's just the colour picker. Oh, it's gonna make... Oh, it's gonna make that noise. Oh. Ooh, ah. All right, what's this one? Ah, oh, yes, I remember this. So there's colors, and then there's also patterns, so you can paint in patterns. For example, let's say we want, ooh, some flowers. Then we paint on, look at this. Look at that. Who needs Bob Ross when you've got this? Paint on the flowers. In fact, you could probably do a square of flowers. Oh, let's actually click on the... 
There we go, get right to the edge. Look at that. Look at that. Is there a sky? Oh, there's bamboo. Are we in Minecraft now? Looks like the, the Minecraft reads. Uh, is that, what's this? Let's, let's start painting with an actual paintbrush. Is this like a pavement or like a road? Yellow brick road? Or a beehive? Let's make it a road. Okay, we're starting a painting already. We're painting, guys. This is it. This is a yellow brick road. This is this is Oz. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow, oh, I want a sky. Is there a sky? What is this? That just looks like gobbledygook. Oh, it's like... Yeah, it's just wavy lines. Oh my god, it looks like that Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like that Pokemon. Oh, what is it called? Oh, I should really know this. I think it's from the original, the, like the original gen. It's the one that looks like a. It's like Tangle, Tanglemon. It's not Mon. <laughs> what is it? You know the one I'm talking about, right? In fact, if we gave it some eyes, look at this thing right here. Look, we we've actually created. A scene from the Pokemon anime. And I know I think it had like big big red lips. It's not Oddish, no, that's the no. It's definitely Tangle something. Definitely. Let's just give it some arms. There we go. We made a Pokemon. Is there like a bucket tool? I want a bucket tool. I don't think there is. What's this do? Oh, oh, I'm doing something. Oh. Oh, wait, is this, uh, is this like layers? What's it doing? Oh my God, it is, look. Oh, wow. Oh, okay, undo that, hang on. So if I draw around this guy, Tanglemon, like so. This is actually, I'm very impressed by this. I don't remember it being this good. And do that. Is that gonna, <gasps> yeah. And then you can make him smaller. Oh look, he's like a little baby one. Let's give him a little baby one. You go there next to mummy. Wow. Okay, we definitely need the sky. Where's the sky? Where's some more patterns? Oh, there's some... Is that like a bush, maybe? Let's go for a bush. All the way up. Let's put a little bush in the background. Lovely. This, maybe this is where they came out of. They came out of the bush. That's where they live. The Tanglemon. And then we really do need a sky. And now I think I've messed up. Because if there's no fill bucket... Then... Oh, there's the moon. Asteroids. Is that water or is this sky? Oh, it's like space. Uh, yeah, that'll do. <laughs> Let's just screw it. Where's the square? Fill this in. No, not that much though. Fill it into like there and I'll paint the rest. Very badly. I should always work with a background first. I always forget that. I always forget that. Always do your background. That's top tip there. Where's my tea? Is it getting too cold? Don't mind me, I'm just going to paint this in. Mmm. Okay, tea's good. Tea's good. Alright, this is good. We lost a bit of the bamboo there, but that's fine. We can live without that. And maybe we could have... Maybe let's have the moon. The moon could be there. Let's do it with a circle tool. Look at that. A little moon in the distance. Can we do clouds? Is there a cloud one? Oh, I think that's it. Is that slime or is that like toxic waste? Oh yeah, no, I don't like that. Get rid of that. Be gone. What's this one? Oh no, I just did it twice. Oh no, I can't undo that. I gotta remember to. Oh, I need to be more careful. Where's the sky gone? I've got to paint back over this. There we go. I'm guessing this is a, a zoom. Oh, that's a great sound effect.
Oh, that's a bit scary now. <laughs> Holy moly, can you go in close? How do we zoom out? Is it left click or right click? Ooh! Ooh, it's right click. All the sound effects are so ear piercing. It's just like, ew. <laughs> Do you know what we could add on? I'm thinking, let's let's try and use the spray can. Let's just get to a, oh, we could set things on fire. Do you know what? Baby, oh, that's too big. <laughs> Baby Tanglemon is set on fire. That's why, oh no, 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 no. I want the, here we go. Oh yeah, that looks pretty good. He's on fire, that's why mum is like, no, don't die. Uh, and then with the, maybe some white. Let's get, or maybe some gray, let's try some light gray. Let's try making some clouds. Oh yeah, this is, you know, maybe change the size a little bit. Make it a bit smaller. Maybe that could be covering the moon a little bit. Atmospheric. Let's change colour. Let's go. Let's add some highlights in, like the sides facing the uh, the moon would be lighter. Yeah, and you know what? For that finishing touch, let's smudge them. If we smudge them a bit, it, they look like sort of fluffier. Mm. And they kind of just look blurry, but it was worth a shot. It was worth a shot, wasn't it? It looks like they're moving really, really fast. It looks like motion blur. <gasps> Wait, you get like that weird hazy effect with heat, with fire. Let's do that above the fire. And it kind of looks like, you know, you know that what I'm, what I'm going for there? That's pretty good little effect there. Look at that. That's good. That's good. Wow. Is that everything? I think, I think that seems to be most things. Can we save it? How do we save this one? Oh, I assume that's saved. Yeah, I didn't actually check all this. What does, what does that do? Oh, oh my. What is this? Can I? Oh, no, I don't know. I don't want to. I'm worried that I'm going to overwrite or ruin my, my lovely drawing. Let's go to a square. Let's just do a test. Square. Is this animation? Is it? Am I adding frames or something? Uh. I should, <laughs> hang on a minute. Remember, I haven't played this for like 15 years. <laughs> kind of winging it. Oh, I am, look at that. And then the next one. Is this to do like onion skinning? Does that make it? Let's add some more stuff. Next frame. Okay. And then one more. Make it really crazy. So it's like the box is on fire or something. And then play. Ah, look at that. Well, like it's exploding. That's pretty good. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, now it's doing the onion skin. Okay, that noise is just awful. Uh, what's this one? You have unsaved work. Do you really want to create a new animation? No, I thought that was this one. A new stamp. Uh, okay, I don't know what that means. This is the, this is like fonts or something. Uh oh, uh oh. Yeah, no, let's not mess with that. I don't want to break it. Okay. New, that's what we already did, yeah. And then that's just that one. Okay, great, all right then. Oh no. Continue. <laughs> just, just ignore that error. That's, that's fine. <gasps> oh no. Oh, I found it. Guys, I don't know how I found it. I just clicked loads of things and it came up. So that's good. That's very good. All right, great. Uh, lovely. Well, there's only one thing left to do with this one. 
and I guess that's sign it. So we haven't really got much room down here. Let's do it down here. And let's do... Oh, that's way too big. I don't want to ruin it. Let's just see what I need to do. Hang on. <laughs> there we go. And then... M... U... C... K. There we go. Mm, that's still quite big, but lovely. Save. Brilliant. All right, uh, let's squirt that back in. And I guess we just need to click that. Yeah, there we go. And look, it even stays on the screen. Wow. I wonder if there's any sort of like hidden Easter eggs if you click some of this stuff on his desk. Like, how far can you go? No, probably not. All right, let's move. Oh, let's move on to this one. Oh boy, this is a good one. This is the cartoon creator. Hi, this is the Art Attack cartoon creator, and here you can put together your very own cartoons. It's very easy to do. Just load an animated character or stamp and then click and drag it around on the screen. You'll see the frame numbers building up on the red frame counter as the computer records your movements. Mm. When you're done, press the green play button on the film strip below to watch what you've created. You can add up to 20 characters. You'll see them build up on the right in the layers panel. Don't forget to load your backdrops in too, and you can add sounds by clicking on the green speaker button. If you want any extra help on any... Alright, shut up now, I think I got the idea. So yeah, this is, this is just like Cartoon Studio, which I think is probably why I could, I picked up Cartoon Studio, because it's like, it's, it, it was already there, I played it when I was a kid, but it was just, it was just Art Attack instead. Um, so let me show you, uh, I guess we... Go to that, go to new, new, oh, new cartoon, no, crap, uh, alright, okay, that's for sounds, oh, lovely, yeah, there's lots of sounds, so there's, um, there's different genres of the cartoons you can make, there is, I guess this is fantasy with a mushroom, Cowboy. Very nice. We have Under the Sea. Ooh. Uh, horror. Spooky. Beethoven. <laughs> wow, alright. And uh, Space. What's this last one? Is this just generic? Yeah, this just looks like... Comic Duck. Ooh. Ooh, is there any, like, fart or cough or something? Ooh, there's vomit. Oh! Oh! Oh my god, that's horrible! <laughs> Sorry, that's really immature of me. <laughs> What's toilet? Okay. Ooh, that's very... I'm really surprised how high quality these sound effects are. I didn't think they were this good. I didn't... Yeah, like, this... I think this game came out in, like, 1998. I was expecting it to be a lot worse. Um, well then, yeah. <laughs> let's, um, <laughs> let's go back. We need to try and find out how to add a background first. Um, so that's, yeah, go backwards and forwards. Cut, trim, I don't know. Do I need to load it? Let's load. Ah, oh, that, okay, that ungrades these. Load. Yes. Here we go. Here we go. 
So we have, mm, what do we go for? I think we need to do, part of me wants to do cowboy, but I'd also like to do spooky. Let's do spooky. Let's start off in a, what have we got here? Oh wow, there's actually a lot to choose from. Is that outside a spooky, ha spooky house or something? Haunted mansion. Yeah, look at this. All right, so you've got your backdrop. Then you need to add your characters. So we want spooky characters. So, wow, it's really hard to make these out. They're very, very pixelated. But uh, we have Frankenstein, evil scientist, it looks like, bat, spider, rat. Looks like Fred from Scooby-Doo. <gasps> we have a, it looks like Murray from um, Monkey Island. Let's have the skull. Ooh, so the skull, let's put the skull, uh, I guess the skull wouldn't move. No, let's not do the skull then. Let's instead go with, we need a walking animation. That's more like a running one. Let's go for walk. Oh yeah, tiptoe. This is good. So yeah, just like Cartoon Studio, you just click and drag and it records the frame. So here, let's have him sneak towards the door. Ready? Du, 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 du. Like that. We'll stop there on frame 28. Let's go back and watch. It's fairly impressive, look at that. So it's, yeah. Yeah, happy with that. Then on frame 28, maybe he can switch to, where's he gone? Oh yeah, it was this one. What can he do now? Maybe he can look scared. No, look and point. Maybe he's been chased by something. Ah, click and hold for a while. Yeah. Then go back to when he starts doing that. Because maybe, yeah, maybe right behind him was a Frankenstein monster. I like that. Oh my God, it's massive. Okay, so Frankenstein monster, click. Oh, I can't click it. Click in. Oh, I didn't, I didn't really click fast enough. Hang on, how do I, this is a good test of how good it is. If I undo, let's try that again. Let's try here. Ooh, and then, as is just about to, stupid cars outside, be quiet. I'm, I'm creating cartoons here. Uh, as soon as he turns around and goes, ah, that's, I think when he needs to, sort of like here, is there like a scary pose? I think he did a scary pose. Yeah, this one. This is good. This is very good. Then he goes, blah. And then, he needs to kill him. He needs to kill him. So, I think he can grab him. Oh, hang on. Where's he still on screen? He's still on screen. About there. So, blah, grabbed. And then explosion. Is there an explosion? Oh, okay, I found an explosion. It was in the spaceship one. Yes, this is good, this is good. So explosion around about now. They've both disappeared and that should mean, and then maybe just at the end, they're both dead. Let's have a little cameo by, you know, we, we, can, we can mix and match. It doesn't just need to be spooky. We could bring in, um, Maybe like a little elf or something. Is there a little elf? A little rabbit. Mm. What's in the what's in the, uh, the Wild West one? Cowboy. Vulture. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe an alien. Let's get an alien in here. Yeah, that one will do. <laughs> you know what I really need? I need a lawn mowing Ned Flanders. Where is he? Where is he? And then, yeah, right at the end, little alien walks on past, just for a little cameo. And there you go, 98 frames long. I guess we need to add in some sound effects. Let's do that.
Let's add in some sound effects. Have we got a spooky noise? I suppose we've got a... Okay, let's have that. Okay, so that shows up there. Yes, that makes sense. So that plays until... Oh, when's that play until? Frame about 29 that was, I think, or 28, let's go 28. I guess they just overlap each other. Then, yeah. And then I really just want like a scream around here, like a scream noise or grunt, something evil laugh. <laughs> oh no, 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 fright. <coughs> no, that's what the guy would do. I want a demon. <coughs> that's pretty good. Or a ma or monster. Oh. Yeah, that's also pretty good. Madman? Oh. Oh dear. You can tell this is all done by the same person. Psycho. Oh, that's such a great sound effect. Like in the shower being stabbed. Hmm. Scream. Oh, that was loud. Spooky. No way! They they have a uh, the is that Halloween or is that Friday the thirteenth? Actually, sounds a bit like Twilight Zone as well. I really I did not think they would have that. Toccata. Oh wow! I'm really impressed by these sound effects. They're great. Uh, I guess let's just go with, um, let's just go with, there we go. <laughs> and then right at the uh, explosion, we need the explosion sound effect. Is there an explosion? There's got to be an explosion, right? Oh no, there's not. Wait, where did I get that from? This one. Uh, disintegrate? No. Steam? Oh, hang on. Pulsar. That's kind of explosion-y, I guess. Oh, hang on. Whoosh? No. Steam blast? Doesn't really sound like an explosion, does it? Let's go with, uh... Fine, that's close enough. And then, right at the end, well, I think we'll have... I think we've got to use that spooky, uh... Where has it gone? There we go, alright. Let's give it a watch. <laughs> so it turns out this is actually very impressive because I thought one when one sound effect overran like uh was on top of another one it would just stop the previous one but it didn't like the the vomit noise was in the middle of all the sounds it makes it so realistic let's just go back to that part <laughs> oh, that's really good. That's really good. And I guess these are all the... Oh. Oh, okay. I guess I'm... Is this reordering the layers? Like if I put that on the top. Does that do anything? Oh, no. Now I've put it behind him. Okay, so lower is... Is on top. All right, so let's move that... To there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Clever. Clever. Let's save it then. I'm really happy with this animation. Let's print it. Oh, let's not print it. Let's definitely not print it. How do you even print that? Um, right. 
Oh man, I could be here all day. Because there's so many more different things you could do. Look at all these different backdrops and stuff. But I can't be here forever. Maybe I need to come back and make some more. Maybe it should be another... Uh, <laughs> another advent calendar. Although I don't think I could be as weird with uh, with this one. Ooh. Oh right, yeah, you can change the backdrop midway through. Look at that. Yeah. That's really good. That's really, really good. I'm I'm glad that it's not just my um sort of like childhood nostalgia, rose tinted spectacles sort of thing, making it seem better than it actually was. Cause this This is impressive, I know I keep saying it, but it really is. Okay. Let's um <laughs> let's move on to the last part, shall we? Just to <laughs> just to wrap this up. Oh, I like how it even stays on the screen. That's really good. Next up, I don't know what you'd even call this part. What does Neil describe it as? Mmm. Oh no, I was having a drink of my tea. Please still work. Hello again. This is the Art Attack Creative Studio. This is where you can really have some fun or just make a mess if you want to. We've got glitter, glue, silly feet, a swinging bucket and lots <clears throat> more for you to play with. So go on, be creative. Silly feet. This is coming back to me. That's coming back to me. And also this thing, the swing bucket. Oh boy. Oh, and remember, if you want to stick any image hose object or glitter to the paper, you must remember to put some glue down first. Because if you don't and you tilt the page, everything will slide off. Oh no. All right. Next. If you want any extra help uh, okay. on any of the tools here... No, I'm good. I'm good, thanks, Dale. Yeah, I do remember this. Wow. So this... This is actually... Oh, wow. I just can't believe it. Let me show you what he means by that. So, get some glue. Click the glue. Please let me click anything. Yes, there we go. I'm just going to glue, you know, the shape of a J. Oh, it's a bit laggier, this one. Not as smooth as the first painting one. Like that, that's sort of a J-O-E there, Joe. All right, then we sprinkle on some glitter. There we are, let's make it nice uh, yellow glitter to match, or blue, well, it doesn't matter, let's do, let's do yellow. And then, we definitely are on the glitter, aren't we? Yeah, let's, oh, this is very laggy. Let's sprinkle on the glitter, like that. All right, can we make the brush size any bigger? I think it's this one over here. Bump that up. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. So we're going to do it all over. Like, oh no, Joe, you're covering it. That's not going to work. I really hope this works now. So let's just do that. Like, shake it all over. Really lag it up. There we are. And I think it, I assume it's this one. We'll tip the paper. No? Yeah. Look at that! 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 My gosh! Look at that time! Okay. Oh! And it's there sparkling like actual glitter. What does that one do then? Hang on. I don't know what this one does. It's not working. It's not doing anything. Oh wait, there's one over here as well. Oh, is this for the paint can? This might be for the paint cam. Hmm. All right, let's, let's just go through. Let's go through some of these um, things. So that's just the normal paintbrush, I presume. Let's try blue. Try blue, I say. Yeah, okay, that's just that's just normal paintbrush. That's boring. What does that little tick mean, though? Mm, I don't know what the tick means. Candle? What does this do? Oh. It's like a kind of rubbing effect of as if you were to rub a candle, like wax wax prints, maybe? Or can you do something to it? Can you stick it? No, that wouldn't make any sense. Uh paintbrush. Oh just a nice good splodge. Very nice, very nice. Um this one I'm excited for, the feet. Feet, click the feet. So, the cursor's these little feet. And I think, let's just click, uh, uh, let's change the colour. Let's make it 
red. I think if I just click these feet, they're just going to start walking. Look at this. I, oh, I just think this is great. They just walk along the screen and leave an imprint. And I think when they get to a wall, they're going to... They're gonna like bounce off the wall and change direction, maybe? Let's just watch. Let's just find out, shall we? Come on. Oh look, changes when you walk over the the wax. Doesn't really get much of an imprint. Look at that. They're turning. They're turning. Those feet are turning. Okay, 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 stop. Come back, feet. Get off. I think you could change the pattern that's on the feet. Please, please work. Please let me change you. Oh no, oh, maybe I need to select them first. Feet. There we go. Yes, so you can make them stars. Mm, boots, or I don't know what they are. Big metal robot things. Uh, arrows or rockets. Chicken feet. Big old boots. Clown feet. Webbed. <laughs> feet feet. And oh, bears. Hands. Paws or something. I don't know. Alien ones. Massive ones. They're like robot ones. And then back to the beginning. Let's try... Um, I don't know. Give me a... No, not that one. Not that one either. Give me a fun one. Yeah, give me the chicken one. I like that. Let's make them orange. Go. Go, my pretties. Yeah. Do they go on top of the paint splodge? Yeah, they do. Okay. All right, you just can. I wish you could do something else in the background. Maybe you can. No, you can't. All right, fine. Uh, what is this? Bones. Ah, uh, okay. I feel like this is getting a bit bogged down. Let's um. Let's clean. Let's start with a new one. Yes, new background, please. Uh, white. And then, yeah, so bones. This is just like a stamp tool. And I think you can change it. Bubbles. Lots of bubbles. Can't wait, you have to click really specifically. Football. It's coming home. Leaves. Come on, I'll go through all of them. Pencils. Shellfish. That's quite a lot. Well, these look like sort of balls, like a ball pit. Or maybe Smarties, they could also be. Oh, stars. Look at those. Any more? Come on. Come on. Sunflowers. What is that? Oh, it's like fridge magnets. Well, it's just letters, but they look a bit like the ones you put on your fridge. Good. Flowers. More flowers, I guess, because we've already had some flowers. And then back to bones. But that's nice. This one is a lot lag laggier, though, than the other ones. That is definitely noticeable. But hey ho, you know, this is actually meant for Windows 98 or something, so um, <laughs> can't really blame it if it's having some issues not being compatible. What's the only thing we haven't done yet? We've done that, we've done that, we've done that. Glitter, we've done. Oh! The paint can! Look at this, right? So, how does this work? I do remember it though. Do you just click and drag it? You do. You do. So, this is pretty much a spirograph, I think. Let's just do this. Oh no, wait, wait, now what am I doing? Another one? Oh! Oh! 
Oh my! Oh my, what's it doing? Well, it's going off the page. It's going off the page. Come back. Can you change colour as it's doing it? You can. You can change colour while it's doing it. Wow. Can you make it glitter? Oh, the moment of truth. When it comes back on screen, is it going to be glitter? This will be amazing. It's glitter. It's glitter. Can you have patterns? Next one. Can you do this? No. Okay, fine. <laughs> oh, now we lost our spirogram. Spirograph, whatever it's called. Oh. Go back on that. I need you. Come on. Come back. I should have tried the chicken feet. I should have tried the chicken feet. Hang on. Let's go. Hey. Hey, come here. Go like that, and then like that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think I crashed it. No, no, it's going back. Oh, I'm really worried now. I feel like I'm pushing this to its limits. I just want to do a nice spirogram. No, I don't want to do stupid wax. That's boring. Right, let me try this again. Grab it like that. Grab it. Grab it. Pivot. Yeah. Okay. And then over there. There we go. You get spinning, you. So, I don't think this is going to work. Hang on, can we do glue? We can't do glue either. Damn it. Damn it. I thought we could maybe glue and then... Oh, wait a minute. If that isn't glue, does that mean when we do this... Go on. Oh no. Yeah, the glitter just falls off because we didn't glue it down. So sensible, so smart. Maybe not sensible, but yeah. Almost too realistic, you know. Sometimes it's like, well, I wanted it to stay there. I can imagine a little kid doing all that and then forgetting they didn't glue it down and then losing all their work. Probably me when I was younger. <laughs> Come on. Go. Right, last thing. Oh, wait, I didn't even see what these arrows did. Does this change the shape of the hole? Oh, it's very slowly transitioning into three dots. We got three dots. Wow. Let's make it purple. Look at that. Look at that. What's the other ones? I want that to be... I don't know what I want it to be. What's this? A longer line? This is more like a... Like a fountain pen now with like calligraphy. Because as it gets to the top it's going to thin out and then... Yeah, look. Because it swivels a bit. It's even got the swiveling in there. And then back down. Yeah. Next. Change colour. This one is, I think, just a bigger hole, like a big splodge. Looks like it. Yeah. Alright, that one's not as interesting. Change colour. Oh, and then back to small hole. I guess that's it. Okay. Okay. Well, last test. Does it work with the chicken feet? No. Oh. Okay. Wow. And now that's a cross. What does that mean? I don't know why. Oh. Who knows? Okay. Well, that's that's really good. That's really good. Let's desplodge. Unlock. How long has that been? Has that been about an hour? I just. Oh. What a great little game. And to think, I, I'm, I can't remember, remember if this was um, free in like a cereal box or something. But if it was, what a deal. Because you could have hours of entertainment on this. Especially with the... This is the most impressive one, I think. The um, the cartoon creator. Like it's quite in-depth for being a, you know, a kid's 
sort of cheaply made um, CD-ROM game. Yeah, you know, you've got layers, you've got sound, you've got all sorts. you got this one, which probably wasn't as laggy on the original if it was compatible properly. But um, yeah, loads of different things. I really like the whole glitter glue idea. And this one over here, you know, it's all right. I mean, we made this <laughs> this beautiful piece of work. So it can't be that bad, can it? I just colour me very, very impressed. It was nice to go back to this game and just, yeah, remember what sort of stuff it had in it. I can see now why I spent so much time playing this as a kid. Because, oh, oh man, I'd love to have seen some of the things I made. Who knows? But hopefully the the um, <laughs> the cartoons were a bit less uh, murderous than the ones I make <laughs> with Ned Flanders these days. Um, but yeah, I guess there's not really much else to do. There are only three things to, uh, like, three areas to play with. And we've uh, we've looked at all of them now. So, um, yeah. Part of that, see, now this has got me on a chain. Now I want to go back and play... What other one did I play when I was younger? Um, Pokemon. There's a Pokemon trading card game on CD-ROM back in the day. I remember playing that as well. Maybe I can get Nakes on board. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to end off here. Maybe I'll come back and make some cartoons one day, or maybe you know what would be quite a fun thing to do is like try and do a Bob Ross style painting in this, just to see how far we could get. But we'll save that for the future. Um, originally, I wanted to do this as a bit of a an April Fools, like, oh, we're going to do a let's play on this. But the thing is, is that I got so into it, I actually wanted to just you know play it normally and uh, go back through all my nostalgia of it. So I couldn't really do it as a, a kind of fake out let's play April Fools. Um, but I'm glad I came back to it anyway. I'm rambling now. I'm going to end off. I hope you enjoyed this hour's worth of just <laughs> messing around with a 20, well not, yeah, 20 year old CD ROM game, pretty much. Um, let's get on to how do I get the splodge back? How do I get the splodge back? Come back, splodge. I need to exit. Uh oh. I think I'm trapped in this game forever. Oh well. Until next time, thank you very much for watching. And goodbye. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. No, no, we're not ending the video quite yet. I'm still here because um, I realise there's a few features that I completely forgot to show you. I just completely missed them um, since my previous recording session. I went and had a look on YouTube at some other videos people have made of this game, just, you know, out of curiosity. And then I realised there's loads of stuff, especially in this last one, that I didn't even click or realise. Let me show you because um, they're pretty cool. So if we go back in... Uh, I think it's still going to be laggy, which I can't really seem to fix. But oh, and there's that stupid error. Come Hello away. again. Oh, this, this is the on. Art Attack Creative. No, thanks, Neil. Uh, yeah, let me show you. So, first of all, right, didn't realise that the colours were actually blending together. So if we've got a... Let's do some colour mixing, shall we? Let's get... Come on. Let's get some red going in the middle, right? And then we get some yellow. It should make... Yeah, look at that. It blends to make orange in the middle. Isn't that clever? And then we get maybe a blue. We can make the, the kind of colour triangle, the primary colours. So we get some green going. Oh, sorry, some... Oh, well, no, that should be green. I don't know. <laughs> oh, interesting. Maybe it's not doing the primary colours like that. It's doing it based on... I don't know, but that should have been green. Uh, that's not really the... That's reasonably interesting, but this is a really cool thing. Let me get the um, the splodges... The paint splodges back up again. Okay, and let's have a green this time. Splodge them on. Come on. There we go. And then we can mix the paint splodges, get a little bit of pinky or purple going in, and mix out the colour. Look at the colours of orange in the middle now. That blends. But then, you know these two things up here? I was like, oh, what are these purple arrows? Maybe it's something to do with the, the paint can. No. You can fold the page as if you were folding it in real life with with paint and it will print. Watch this. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh, we've made like a sort of monkey face. Huh, that's interesting. And then you can do it the other way as well. You do it horizontally. Like that. Come back. There we go. And you get some really cool patterns. Look at this. Almost get like a, a I don't know what that is abstract groovy funky 60s thing going on there um what else did i miss oh yeah so let's get the paintbrush back 
And let's just do uh, some light blue. Um, well, no, let's not do it. Let's do the feet, actually. Come on, let's get the feet involved here. Still very tough to click right, but there you go. Um, so we're actually doing light blue, but look how it changes colour depending on what paint it's on top of. So clever. So clever. But if we get off there then, um, I didn't do the little green arrows down here. If we look at this, and then ooh, over, we get four different functions. We have magnify. So we could magnify a bit of paint splat, for example, and then ooh, zoom into that, which is okay. Oh, I didn't click submit, but that one's okay. This one's really cool, though. This is like the uh, twirl effect, or whatever it's called in Photoshop. Ripple, whirl. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. That's good. And then we have to actually click the tick to submit. Come on. There you go. That's not all though. Then we have ripply waves. Let's do some. Let's do something down this side, and then ripple. Ooh. And finally, this one is sort of like a a bulge, fisheye sort of look. Let's do it on these ones over here. Ooh, like that. Great stuff. Great stuff. And then can we fold it again? See what it looks like. Does it copy over the the effect we just put on? It does. It does. It's looking pretty ugly now. I've got to say. <laughs> and again, yep. Yeah, now you're just kind of looking like vomit. Very strangely coloured vomit, but still. Uh, and I think that's pretty much it um, for this one. Just little stuff that I missed out, but I thought were quite cool little features. Um, I also missed out on the... Are they still here? I really hope they are. Oh, I, get, I lost that one. No, I've lost them. Hmm. So on this one, you know how we had... Uh, please don't start talking again, Neil. Hi, and oh. welcome to the Art Attack... I've already heard it before. Come on. So, I don't know whether we can load our existing picture. Is it here somewhere? Yeah, look, here's our um, here's the one we made. Here's one I made earlier. There it is. Saved it nice. Um, what you can do, first of all, is use these backgrounds in uh, cartoons, right? So we could animate on our own backdrops, which is pretty cool. Hi, this is the art attack. Yeah. So, load, background, user one, boom, there we are. Then you start getting your characters, your fairy godmothers or whatever this is, and da -la 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 -la, like so. That's a pretty nice little feature. Lovely. But then, even more than that, so say if that wasn't enough for you, there's more. There's more. Remember that little animation thing we found on this one? And I didn't really quite know what to do with it. Um, bit of sort of like this one. Onion skinning and... Was it this one? No, it wasn't that one. What am I talking about? It was... This one. Yes. So, you can actually make your own animation and put that in the cartoon creator. Let's think about this. Let's create an animation of... Um, I don't know, a plant growing maybe. So we'll have, yeah, just a plant growing. So we have a little, oh, let's have it thicker than that, please. It's like a little seed, right? Yeah, that's good. Then next frame, right? Plus frame. Then the seed grows up and out. Next frame. A little bit more. Next frame. Maybe it starts to split like that. And obviously, you can spend more time. I feel like I'm selling this product now. You can spend more time, make the animation more fluid, more incremental. So then maybe it goes up there and it goes up here. It doesn't really look like a plant anymore, but hey ho, I've tried my best here. Now it just looks like a bit of a seaweed or something. And up there. How many can you do, I wonder? Maybe it starts growing out the bottom as well. How about that? Like that, and maybe it moves a little bit more over here, and maybe a little bit more up here. So let's watch that. 
There you go. I mean, it's something, right? It's not great, but whatever. Then we save it. I think that's how that works. Then let's suck that back. <laughs> Excuse me. Head over to the cartoon creator. And let's say we want to put that little plant growing thing in here. I'm pretty sure if we open the paint splodge, get this one. No, 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 that was wrong. Hang on. I meant to do load. Crap, let's load that back in. We've lost our fairy godmother, but that's fine. Then it's the stamp. User one. Is it this one? Oh no, I've lost it. Maybe I didn't save it right. Hmm. Let me go back and try and save it again. Oh, and look at this. I didn't realize you could do this. Can you cut can you customize these animations? <gasps> let's try. Oh, you can! You can customise these ones! Oh, so you could sort of, I don't know, um, make him have a different walk cycle? That's very intricate. You would <laughs> you'd not be able to match the detail, but you could try. You could make him radiate with smelly green fumes, maybe? Uh, give me that. Give me that. Yeah, and then just sort of like... I don't know. But did we save our one? Did we lose it? Oh, maybe we lost it. But let's just do that. And then try saving that. I don't know if I've actually saved this or not. Who knows? But basically what I'm trying to show you is you can you can take what you've done in here and maybe if you've done it right, I don't know, you can take them and actually put them into your own cartoon to animate yourself. I think that's pretty neat if you ask me. I just felt like I quickly had to show you this just to sort of, I don't know, complete the whole package. I was just a bit annoyed I can't actually find a way to do it now though. Uh, I thought it'd be in this one, but oh, oh, oh yeah, there was a J, I tried to like do a quick, quick test one. I tried to spell out Joe. Here they are. Here it is. Okay. Wait, let's get the backdrop back again. Here we go. Uh, it's this one. And then, boom. Boom. Put a little plant thing over there. And it will just loop like that. Now that is good. That's good, isn't it? They've even got their own, um, own self-made, like pre-made animations here if you wanted to see what they could do. Pretty impressive. Anyway, uh, I'm going to stop now because this video is getting way too long. Um, if you're interested in me coming back to this, maybe I could live stream making... Uh, uh, well, it might crash or something, but maybe I could live stream making some cartoons or messing around some more. But um, I just thought you'd be interested in this old forgotten CD-ROM game. Anyway, until next time, thank you very much for watching and goodbye. Mm -hmm.